Hi, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use the brushes panel right after this. Okay, so here we have this little picture of this man standing um, in front, like in a field, and um, so, but what I want to do is put some eyebrows on him and I ruffle up his hat a little bit um, with one of these brushes. So I'm going to go here to textured and I scroll down and um, so there are like um, brushes that um, aren't very good for, seems like, for eyebrows. Um, so if I select this brush, zoom up, and uh, do it. They aren't very good for eyebrows because they're not very transparent and uh, uh, we'd have to actually change the color as well. But um, So they're not very good for eyebrows. So I'm going to show you how to create a new brush. And um, um, you don't have very many of a selection. Um, you do have quite a few but not too many. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to make your own brushes. Um, that can be like anything you want. So um, right here I have a document open. It's transparent background. And uh, But for making brushes you want a black background. So I'm going to pull a square over this and um, switch it to black. Okay, so um, and you and your brush needs to be white. So I'm gonna um, go to the uh, pixel persona to make my brush. So so I can because they have a lot more big selection of brushes here because it's pixel, and um, so I'm gonna select. I'll go with this one. So um, I need white, so I'm going to switch this to white. Yep, it's on white. So I'm going to go ahead and make a brush that I think would probably be good for eyebrows. So I think that's probably pretty good. Um, so I'm going to go back to my draw persona and um, automatically select it. And, um, so I'm going to just basically crop this sort of for when we export it. So the way how to do that for exporting is um, go to the uh, uh, artboard tool and uh, click um, on this size and it'll come down and then uh, click on selection and then you click on insert artboard. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say export and you need to have a PNG, don't mess with any of the settings, um, it should be fine. Export. And I'll name it um, Tutorial Brush. Oops, sorry. Okay, so um, it exports, and I'm going to go over here into this document and um, I'm going to go over into the brushes panel. If your brushes panel is for some reason not up there, um, go up here and you can click on view, come down here, studio, and click on brushes and make sure it's checked. Okay, so I'm going to click on textured because that's the section I want to be in. So you need to click this little icon up here and uh, you um, for this, I'm making a new intensity brush, a new textured intensity brush. So click here, and it'll come down with this, and you can sit, and you're gonna click on uh, tutorial brush. And you click open, it'll load, and um, should be ready for you right here. And right now it looks sort of weird, looks sort of stretched, 
So I'm going to show you how to change that. Um, you click either double click or uh, click on this or click edit with right click. And um, so right now it looks sort of stretched. You can edit all this, um, the default um, brush width. And but what I'm going to be editing right now is um, this part right now. Um, right now it's being, the whole brush is being stretched the whole time, um, but I want to make it repeat. So, um, but this thing determines um, whether you want the head to repeat or the um, end to repeat, but I just want the middle to repeat. So, I'm going to put it about like here and about here. So I'll just try to make it look sort of um, uh, not too repeaty. This one sort of looks repeaty, but um, if you don't want to make too look too much like repeating a bunch, um, you can just create your brush a lot longer and a lot the same in the middle, and that should help out. And um, and then you can uh, there's different um, things you have over here. Pull is. Uh, this is for corners actually, um, so you can mess around with that, see what they do, and uh, and then if you like want to uh, type in your values, you can. If you really want to be specific, so I'm going to turn this up a little bit, and I'm going to click close, and so now I've got a nice brush um, for eyebrows, and uh, for eyebrows I'm going to go over here. I'm going to change it to brown for eyebrows. So there we gave the little dude some eyebrows. I'm going to change this to black and I'm going to give the hat a few ruffles. Of course, you can go back in here and uh, edit them. And what I would suggest you do, um, since these are vector brushes, it creates a whole bunch of layers. And after you do it a little while, it just gets super overwhelming. So what I do is um, I actually click on this um, layer tool, and uh, or I mean the layer um, icon down here, and it creates a la new layer. I actually keep all these in one layer, so it's more organized that way. And I'll name this layer um, um, brush. So um, this is really cool. When I first got Affinity Designer, I was like, "Whoa, why? This isn't very cool because they don't have as many brushes." But so um, you can make your own brushes, and um, I'm gonna show you. Um, what are other options there are? Um, you can Im ex uh, export brushes or import them. You can create a new category. So um, I'm going to rename rename this category. And so then you can um, go over here to your favorite brushes and um, click on like. I mean click right click and you can um, you can say edit brush rename brush and then you can move to whatever category if you if this was one of your favorite brushes you can stick it here and um, so that's cool and I just want to show you something else real quick um, so I have um, this brush that I created it's an it's actually an Im image brush and um, and so I you can adjust the um, size variance which um, makes it have uh, less pressure when you um, mess around with this pressure thing up here when you put it on different pressures and stuff so um, so if this isn't on then you can't make any pressure but I don't want any pressure on this one because it's not really a pressure brush. It's more like a picture brush, and I'm not going to have any 
opacity variance. And so what I just did with this was um, took a few trees and uh, these ones a little bit cut off, but um, that's I guess that's okay. So then you can um, I put this one on repeat and then you can click close. And I'm gonna grab my brush tool, make it pretty big, and I'm going to go here and create a new layer. And for this, you need to, if your brush has color in it, you need to make sure you turn off this color up here. And then it will um, show up however you want. This brush wouldn't be good for making trees, though, because it's um, it cuts off the top of the tree. But um, you can see, you can sort of see how you can uh, create stuff really quickly with brushes, and how easy it is um, to create brushes and um, do all sorts of different stuff with them. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and uh, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up.